that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a tool to dealing yeah. with life. Mm -hmm. It's like if you have an uncomfortable feeling of sadness or anger, you're not using those tools to exactly run away from it, but to instead examine it in a way that you're able to let it go, but at the same time dissect it and like understand the feeling in a more like objective way without getting attached to it as well. <laughs> you start becoming mindful in in a lot of different situations. Becoming present no matter what you do. If you're making eggs, you're mindfully making eggs. It's an experience now, not just a task. Be able to connect with the present moment through mindfulness, it um, has affected how I look at life real, really differently, so. Mindfulness has really helped me not to control my thoughts because you're never really gonna be able to control your thoughts 100%. Your mind will always wander to things. It really helps me to um, move away from something that's really bothering me and just be able to redirect my thought towards my breath or my body or something just so that I can relax and calm down. Like, try not to analyze your problems. Like, if my problem was this cushion, like, I... Sit on your problem. Learn to be with your problem. Be friends with your problem. Like. But don't let it consume you. <clears throat> Basically. You nailed it, dude. Yeah. That's a great way to say that. Yeah. You yeah. are a philosopher after all. Yeah. So <coughs> have your friends.